hello everyone welcome to the last lecture on the lesson the enemy the 10th lecture so we had already completed nine lectures and it had been really really a long long uh, lecture long lesson and uh, i'm happy to see that most of you have gone through the videos and you have also understood many of you have also turned up to question uh, the issues which were conflicting in your mind so today let us uh, go into the last part last part of the lesson okay so before we uh, complete or come to the remaining paragraphs let us have a quick review of the previous paragraph previous lesson so in the last class we had seen that uh, dr sada he was very tensed because the doctor he had promised to get rid of the enemy uh, and he told sadao that he would be sending his own personal assassins to get the man killed but after each day each night as promised by the general uh, sadao found that the man was not killed he was still alive and he was slowly recovering from his uh, condition from his state of trauma and th this made you know dr sadao grow restless night after night because every night he had to undergo through the same tension of what would happen in the next night at the same time he also had to keep it a secret from hana who was also worried about the presence of the enemy in their house but maybe uh, it is possible that you know the general had forgotten and on the third night which was a very rainy night the garden was full of water the eaves you know dropping the sound of rain drops falling from the eaves that disturbed dr sadao very much but that morning also when sadao found that the man was uh, already up he was looking better than earlier he decided to uh, you know take a decision on his own because it was not going to work that way it was not going to work because he could not bear the tension of keeping a secret in his house uh, and he was also gradually realizing that it is most probably uh, it is most probable that the general he had forgotten his promise and uh, okay in a way he was glad that it had turned out this way because somewhere or the other he also did not want a human being to be killed okay so from there let us see what happens next so the american man tom he is awake and sadao greets him you are well sadao greet he lowered his voice you are so well that i think If I put my boat on the shore tonight with food and extra clothing in it you might be able to row to that little island not far from the coast It is so near the coast that it has not been worth fortifying nobody lives on it because in storm it is submerged okay so uh, you know dr sadao he has an idea okay he decides that why not allow this man escape okay this circumstances what is the circumstance the circumstance that the general had forgotten his promise to send assassins okay now this circumstance has given him the opportunity to uh, you know make arrangements for the escape of the american prisoner of war so he decided to help the american with that there was a very uh, you know isolated abandoned island a few miles away from the shore the place where sadao lived and uh, seeing that tom has recovered very much he was much healthier than earlier so he decided that if he helped tom with a boat and you know loaded it with extra food and clothing then probably he could easily escape from the japanese 
territory and there was a reason because uh, you know this island it was usually hit by a storm okay usually hit by storm and that is why uh, there is no human uh, dwelling in that island and besides that it has not been fortified fortified means there are no soldiers or there is no any defense mechanism there is no security over there in that island since it is located very close to the coast of japan okay so uh, that way maybe the enemy can have a easy escape okay so this is what dr sadao plans or it the plan hits his mind okay uh, so this island was very close and he says that nobody lives on it because in storm it is submerged and during storm what happens is that the entire island it gets submerged with flood waters okay so this is why nobody lives on it but this is not the season of storm right now there is no chance of a storm you could live there until you saw a korean fishing boat pass by okay korean fishing boat uh, since korea was at loggerheads with uh, japan during the time and it was helping uh, the americans to fight against japanese regime so that is why um, the koreans could easily help him rescue him if they find him to be an american okay so that is why he asked him that if you reach to that island you should what you should do is you should wait for a korean fishing boat what is a fishing boat a boat that is used to fish okay in the sea right so and uh, they pass quite near the island because the water is many fathoms deep there since the water level is very very deep there are uh, there are chances of uh, you know getting a, a shipwreck or getting lost in the sea and anything might happen in the vast sea so they keep close to land okay and this island being located very close to the coast it is an easy uh, or rather it offers a chance to the fishing boats to have a safe landing in times of crisis okay so that is why Uh, Sadao tells him that very often there are fishing boats, Korean fishing boats passing by, and you can take help from those people, right? The young man stared at him. Now the American he looks very surprised. He had never expected this. It's all right that being a doctor, Doctor Sadao had helped him, but he would help an American to escape. that was beyond his comprehension but slowly comprehending he was slowly understanding he could understand what was dr sadao's intention that dr sadao did not want to hand him over to the japanese government that was very clear he wanted the american to stay safe okay so that is why uh, he questions again do i have to he asked do i have to is it at all necessary tom asked i think so sadao said gently as gently as possible now look at the words spoken by the american do i have to don't you think that he was feeling very safe and very relaxed at dr sadao's house Yes, of course he was because by now he had realized that Dr. Sadao and his wife were very different from the other Japanese that he has come across till now. They are not like General Takima or his uh you know people and people working for the general or the Japanese police. These two people are people who have a soft corner for human being. they understand human empathy okay so that is something that tom realizes and that is why he questions that do i really have to am i not safe here sadao agrees that i think so yes you are not safe 
you understand you try to understand it is not hidden that you are here so he discloses the fact that you know the general he knows it that you are in my house okay the young man nodded in perfect comprehension perfect comprehension means fully understanding he understands what dr sadao wants to mean and he also agrees he nods his head okay he said simply sadao did not see him again until evening so saying that he leaves uh, tom in his room and goes out for making preparations for the escape of the prisoner right as soon as it was dark he had dragged the stout boat stout means strong boat down to the shore it was his personal boat okay and in it he put food and bottled water because you know sea water could not be consumed it is very salty right he is so concerned he has put food also okay ready made food food that won't be wasted right and also bottled water that he had bought secretly during the day as well as two quilt he had bought at a pawn shop so uh, he what he did he brought the boat okay he dragged the stout boat and he put in the food bottled water okay which he had already bought in the daytime only he had gone to a pawn shop what is a pawn shop where you can get used goods okay so in a pawn shop he bought two quills what are quills quills are nothing but japanese blankets okay special blankets now he bought these two blankets he packed them because he felt that tom might need the blankets as well as food and water and what did he do the boat he tied to a post in the water for the tide was high okay it was high tide it was high tide means the waves were very high okay and there was no moon and he worked without a flashlight in extreme secrecy look at how he had strategically planned out everything he had decided the americans escape on a day or on a night when there is no moon in the sky okay so that there is no hint of Uh, or rather uh, there is no uh, clue left that he was trying to do something in secret he was extremely cautious about uh, the security of the Jap- japanese government okay and he worked without a flashlight though it was dark he did not use a flashlight because that might again send signals that there was something wrong going on that corner of the uh, place so when he came to the house he entered as though he were just back from his work and so hana knew nothing he didn't let hana even to know okay he kept that secret though hana was a faithful wife maybe he did not want hana to get more tensed because that would also tense her agitate her what would be the consequences if somebody finds that he had allowed an american prisoner to escape what would be the resultant uh, so sadao like a very sweet husband a loving and caring husband did not want her to be tense to be worried to be fret fretted okay and that is why he did not tell her and he acted as though he has returned just back from work yummy yours was here she said as she served his supper though she was so modern still she did not eat with him being a modern woman uh, because mo- why modern she has her education outside she has gone to america so definitely she is educated and modern uh but still she held traditional values okay hana she was a traditional wife a dutiful wife who placed her husband before her okay or above her she never dined or ate ate her uh, meal or dinner or lunch with him 
okay so that is why uh, while serving the supper yummy's reference comes to her mind and she lets sadao know that yummy who was yummy again she was the caretaker of the children so yummy had come during the daytime and she had cried yummy cried over the baby she went on with a shy she misses him so so she is full of sympathy for the servant as well the servants will come back as soon as the foreigner is gone sadao said she he doesn't say anything more he just lets her know that don't worry the moment the foreigner is gone the moment is and the enemy is out of our house uh yeah the servants can very well come back okay he went into the guest room that night before he went to bed himself and checked carefully the american's temperature the state of the wound and his heart and pulse so being a doctor it was his responsibility to check the state of uh you know of of his patient so just like when you are in hospital the doctor be, just before uh, signing the discharge report he would be checking everything the normal routine or regular checkup so just like that dr sita here he also does a routine checkup of the uh patient that is the american tom okay and he checks the pulse so what is the condition of the pulse let's see uh the pulse was irregular but that was perhaps because of excitement the young man's pale lips were pressed together and his eyes burned only the scars on his neck were red no so we don't understand actually here uh actually we can say that there is a double meaning uh in the expression that we see on the face of the prisoner tom the enemy tom he was pressing his lips tight as if he was trying to control some emotion it can be pleasure or it can be pain on one hand he is definitely happy because he is uh, getting freedom from a long term of imprisonment in the japanese cell as well as uh, the the you know that threat over his uh, life that is going to be over very soon at the same time he is also full of his heart is filled with sympathy and is pained to see that this japanese doctor who had saved his life was again saving his life from you know that he uh, from imminent death he could have died if the japanese doctor had handed him over to the army or to the police it is sure that he would have died but that doesn't happen so what kind of a favor dr sadao is doing upon his life he is filled with gratitude he is filled with uh, you know thankfulness for this great man for this human great human being so uh, his expressions were an expression of uh, mixed you know mixed expression of pleasure and pain at the same time i realize you are saving my life again he told sadao no not at all sadao said it is only inconvenient to have you here any longer it's not that i am saving your life i am not doing anything great sadao look at him how humble he is he is doing a great deed indeed but then still he is not accepting that uh, you can call it uh, his act of uh, sympathy the great uh, you know the great concern that he has shown for an enemy sailor he doesn't accept that uh, so that is that can be done only by a person who is humble enough right and sadao he was very happy that he was able to save tom's life right uh, but then he tells also tells tom that he was doing so because it was no longer convenient to have him in that place 
have him in his home. He had hesitated a good deal about giving the man a flashlight, but he had decided to give it to him after all. It was a small one. Flashlight means torchlight. Okay. It was a small one, his own, which he used at night when he was called. So it was his personally used torchlight. He didn't buy something new because he had not he had actually decided not to buy or not to give him but finally some way for some reason he decided to give it to him and what is the, uh, uh, you know what is the reason you will we'll get to see here if your food runs out before you catch a boat he said signal me two flashes at the same instant the sun drops over the horizon do not signal in darkness for it will be seen this is the reason why he had actually given him or handed him over the flashlight so that in case of need the man or other tom can send him signals okay and he is so concerned and so cautious he also uh, you know uh, asks him warns him that you should not light the torch in the dark okay because that would again uh, draw the attention of the japanese security okay so you signal me when the sun is about to set if you are all right but still there signal me once you will find fresh fish easy to catch but you must eat them raw a fire would be seen so fire that would uh, where there is a fire there is smoke okay so if you light a fire and you try to cook the fish that you that that is easily available by the uh, sea water or the coastal part uh, then please you don't do that don't light the fire because it will be uh, sending up the smoke and again you would be an easy target okay you would be under threat once again right and if you are still there just signal me once with your flashlight so i will understand the moment you are gone okay okay the young man breathed so that was the last conversation between him and the uh, and dr sadao he was dressed now in the japanese clothes which sadao had given him and at the last moment sadao wrapped a black cloth about his blond head now sadao said the young american without a word shook sadar's hand warmly and then walked quite well across the floor and down the step into the darkness of the garden so in order that he is not caught or not uh, seen by the japanese security people he dressed him up like a japanese man in traditional japanese kimono wear and also to hide the blonde hair what he does he ties up a black cloth around his head and then he notices he observes as the man walks down the steps and into the garden darkness of the garden it's night time already and slowly and slowly the figure it vanishes into the dark so once twice sadao saw his light flash to find his way but that would not be suspected he waited until from the shore there was one more flash so the last flash that was available the moment the prisoner or the enemy tom he reaches the shore he flashes the light once and then it is gone the moment it is gone what does he do then he closed the partition that night he slept all these three nights have been horrifying night for dr sadao he had been so tensed he was so tensed because he was living with a guilt and the guilt was that he had uh, agreed to the plan of the general to 
get the man executed get the man killed at the in the hands of assassins so being a doctor it is it is somewhere or the other his uh, you know professional um, you can say his duty or his morality it doesn't allow him to do something as brutal as that so that is why he was living with the guilt all these three nights three nights he has awaited for the arrival of the assassins and it were with it were heavy nights for him he was mentally stressed out okay and so today after the departure of the sailor the prisoner of war the enemy the american tom it was the night that dr sadao he slept peacefully no tension no worry he had been able to save a life after all you say the man escaped the general asked faintly so the general also comes to know that the man had escaped which man the american tom you had been he had been operated upon a week before an emergency operation to which sadao had been called in the night for 12 hours sadao had not been sure the general would live dr sadao had already conducted an operation upon an emergency operation it was because he was called that night Uh, it was an attack once again and i had told you earlier that the general he was undergoing treatment in the hands of dr sita and he was having constantly having a uh, panic attacks and probably it was a very very critical situation where operation was a must okay and under such emergency conditions the operation was conducted and it was uh, for 12 hours he was in coma so dr sada he was not sure whether the general would survive or not the gold bladder was much involved then the old man had begun to breathe deeply again and to demand food so but then after 12 hours the man started recovering the general started recovering and started breathing deeply he even demanded for food he was conscious okay he he was back into his senses and he was feeling hungry as well so dao had not been able to ask about the assassin so that is why uh, in such a critical condition he could not ask the general about uh, why or whether the assassins came or not or whether they were sent or not right so far as he knew they had never come the servants had returned and yummy had cleaned the guest room thoroughly and had burnt sulfur in it to get the white man smell out of it nobody said anything so you can see the sense of disgust for the presence of the american the servants did they, they left house because the enemy was present the white man was present so racially prejudiced they were and the moment he was gone they returned back and after returning what was the first job that they do they cleanse up the entire household they start cleaning the room every nook and corner of the room and yummy what she does she cleans the guest room the room where the white man had been staying and she burns sulfur sulfur means what we call agarbatti okay incense sticks she burns sulfur into in that room so that that repulsive order of the white man look at the way it has been presented the white man smell in order to get the white man smell out of it she burns sulfur it was so repulsive they could not even stand not only the sight even the smell of the white man so they burned sulfur and nobody said anything there was no discussion about where the man went or what happened to him only the gardener was cross because he had gone behind with his chrysanthemums so chrysanthemums 
uh, I suppose you all know that chrysanthemum is the national flower of Japan though many consider cherry blossoms to be the national flower it's not actually the uh, you know 16 petaled kiku okay that is the uh, national flower the symbolic national flower of Japan and even it serves as the imperial seal of japan the seal or the emblem of japan that is the chrysanthemum the 16 petaled kiku it's called okay and uh, every year we can see that japan in japan there is a chrysanthemum festival that is being organized because in the time of fall uh, that is winters from september to november you know chrysanthemums bloom in you know great lot in plenty and people arrive in crowds to see these beautiful uh, you know chrysanthemum festival because you know images would be adorned with chrysanthemum flowers their houses will be adorned different structures will be made out of you know the chrysanthemum flowers so that is why our uh, gardener he was very happy uh, unhappy and restless because he had not been able to work with his chrysanthemums due to the presence of the enemy the enemy was present and he had to leave the household during that time the time when it was suitable to plant chrysanthemum or sow the seeds of chrysanthemum right but after a week, Sadao felt that the general was well enough to be spoken to about the prisoner. So during uh, the general's operation as well as during those critical moments, uh, okay, so during that time, the entire week, the general was not disturbed. Sadao decided to keep the escape of the enemy a secret. Uh, and he didn't say but when he saw that the general had recovered completely and it was a um, good time to speak about it he goes on to the general and uh, he reveals the fact that the enemy he had escaped yes excellency he escaped Sadao now said he coughed signifying that he had not said all he might have said but was unwilling to disturb the general further but the old man opened his eyes suddenly okay so uh, sadao he coughed and why does he cough because he was trying to keep a secret he didn't speak much he controlled himself right and the old man that is the general general takima he opens his eyes suddenly remembering something that prisoner he said with some energy did i not promise you i would kill him for you i remember having promised you that i'll be sending you man assassins my own private assassins and get this man killed did i do so you did excellency sadao said sadao agreed that yes yes sir you had well well the old man said in a tone of amazement so i did but you see i was suffering a great good deal the truth is i thought of nothing but myself in short i forgot my promise to you so the general he does not hide the reality from Dr. Sadao and tells him that actually I was so engrossed with myself, my own anxieties, my worries over my health that I actually forgot the promise which I made to you and I didn't send the man. I wondered your excellency, Sadao murmured. Oh, Sadao, Sadao says that yes, I was also just wondering why you didn't send the assassins. It was certainly very careless of me, the general said. But you understand, it is not lack of patriotism or dereliction of duty. He looked anxiously at the doctor. The general feared that this negligence 
could be considered a dereliction of duty or a lack of patriotism by the people if somehow the secret was out okay so that is why he was looking very anxious very tensed and with tensed eyes he looks towards the doctor his doctor sadao if the matter should come out you would understand that wouldn't you so you should understand that this matter what he is trying to say actually the general wants dr sadao to keep this as a secret he doesn't want people to know that the general knew the presence of an enemy at his own doctor's house and the enemy escaped because if it happens what will be the consequence people would think that he had been negligent he lacked patriotism and he could also be punished and in japan uh, the punishment was capital okay so that is why he feared that certainly your excellency so dr sadao he also understands the you know the critical condition the critical state of affairs if anyhow if anyhow dr sadao or dr the general takima's involvement in the matter comes to light what would happen they would lose the trust of the public not only the public but also of the government and they would be punishment punished for the uh, for this act okay so that is why he ascertains Uh, the general that definitely the secret would be maintained he suddenly comprehended that the general was in the palm of his hand that means in his control palm of the hand means in his control okay the general was in his control because he was keeping the general's secret and that as a consequence he himself was perfectly safe that means the general did not consider sadao to be guilty or he did not actually come to know that it was sadao who had allowed tom to escape so he was also safe and in both ways he was safe because the general did not know that he had allowed the man to escape and at the same time the general was actually grateful that he was going to keep his secret i can swear to your loyalty excellency he said to the old general and to your zeal against the enemy so he swears right to keep the secret you are a good man the general murmured and closed his uh, closed his eyes you will be rewarded uh, since you are keeping my secret it's not because of his patriotism rather because he was loyal towards the general that the general had decided to reward dr sadao but sadao searching the spot of black in the twilight sea that night had his reward so what was the reward for him when he searched for the spot of black he when he searched for that uh, you know the man silot in that darkness of the night he had his reward because the man was already gone there was no man there was no prick of light in the dusk no one was on the island his prisoner was gone safe doubtless for he had warned him to wait only for a korean fishing boat so he was very much sure that the man might have found a korean fishing boat and he had been rescued to his suitable place so that was the biggest reward that he was able to save the life of a person of a human that was his reward he did not want any monetary award or any other material award for a doctor saving the life of the patient it is the biggest reward He stood for a moment on the veranda gazing out to the sea from whence the young man had come that other night so he went out in the shore and he remembered that day when he it was a evening time it was an evening time it was twilight it was a misty evening and he and hana were waiting outside when they had actually spotted this american and a similar evening comes into his life and here he is waiting on the veranda 
and gazing out to the sea from where he had actually noticed this man emerging and into his mind although without reason there came other white faces he had known the professor at whose house he had met hana a dull man and his wife had been a silly talkative woman in spite of her wish to be kind so she he remembered all the american people the white people that he had met in america or in his lifetime he remembered the professor whose house uh, he had come across hana how dull a man he was and how talkative his wife was he remembered his old teacher of anatomy who had been so insistent on mercy with the knife okay doing mercy it is the same old teacher who had taught him that uh, a doctor must know each atom of the body very perfectly and if it is possible at all you should try to save a life and this is what he has done today dr sadao had saved a life because it was in his hand and then he remembered the face of his fat slatternly landlady even the landlady he remembers we haven't uh, got an episode with the landlady but what happens with the landlady here is a description he had had great difficulty in finding a place to live in america because he was a japanese and the americans were full of prejudice okay just like the racially biased people okay uh the racially biased japanese japanese hate the americans similarly the americans also hate the japanese so they are also biased against the japanese people asian people especially the japanese after the pearl harbor attack especially okay so they were full of prejudice nobody trusted the japanese people and it was difficult for him to find a, a place to live in america america americans were full of prejudice and it had been bitter to live in knowing himself their superior again he himself considered him to be superior consider japanese people to be superior isn't sada himself racially prejudiced yes of course he is he is also racially prejudiced so that con uh, that you know combat between races that is easily visible over here now how he had despised the ignorant and dirty old woman look at the way he describes his landlady the ignorant the foolish he says and dirty old woman who had at last consented to house him in her miserable home the home where he lived the roof which gave him shelter that is considered to be miserable because some way or the other <clears throat> he could not do away with his uh, racial bias against a american he considered himself his race to be better over the americans and he had despised he disliked he was full of hatred towards the landlady and her dirty household but however he was sheltered in that house he had once tried to be grateful to her because she had in her in his last year nursed him through influenza but it was difficult for she was no repulsive to him in her kindness so uh, once he was also very sick he was suffering from flu for a long time and uh, he did not have his family over there or friends over there it was the same despiteful the same ignorant and dirty landlady who had taken care of him and uh, seeing that she, uh, he was full of great gratitude towards this lady and uh, he tried to thank her for her care for her concern for him but she acted very repulsively though she was showing kindness she was repulsive because she also was uh, you know racially 
despised she also had that hatred towards the japanese now he remembered the youthful haggard face of his prisoner and right at this moment he was remembering he was recollecting the young face the tired face of his prisoner white and repulsive so white is a color that is abominable and repulsive it is full of hatred there is no sense of love for this color only hatred but then strange he thought i wonder why i could not kill him it's strange indeed it is strange dr sadao now sitting or standing in the dark and watching out towards the sea he also somewhere or the other finds it very strange that he had helped an american to uh, you know escape from the clutch of the japanese army he had helped this enemy okay why it is a very very strange thing so we can understand it is out of uh, his you know humanity out of his uh, you know that professionalism the sense of professionalism the a doctor's duty is to save a life maybe it is this moral this love for uh, humanity which he has learned through his profession that doesn't allow him to hand over his uh, enemy over to the japanese government it is not because he is an uh, unpatriotic or you know he is a rebel rather it is because he could not do so he could not take the life of another human being okay so humanity wins here thus from this story we can understand dr sadao uh dr sadao sense of duty to save lives as opposed to a patriotic citizen who is duty bound to hand over the prisoner to the authorities the story also focuses on the capacity on the ability of human beings to rise above narrow prejudices of race and country and emerge as sensitive and empathic human beings regardless of the lurking dangers and the open defiance of his servants dr sadao takes his role as a savior of life sadao's wife hana also represents a dutiful wife but she is also sensitive to the situation and uh, she shows that human come first okay and uh, race comes later she is a conventional woman by nature and uh, committed to support or rather stand by her husband in all his work in all his uh, endeavors so her character also shows remarkable strength okay uh, the way she stands by her husband in his efforts to save the american and uh, you know the way she shows her love and compassion for the enemy sailor and also for her ignorant servants all these exposes the positive side of hanas character so these are some things uh, some of the things that are focused in this story we will come to more discussion on the themes the various themes of the story 
uh, later in my next classes thank you till then